right. This might look weird to you, but this is what we're doing today. Freed Air contacted me and asked me if I would like to review their electric bicycle. And as most of you know that have watched the channel, I've always said how I've wanted to do reviews on stuff and just never got around to it. Well, these people reached out and they asked me if I wanted to test out their off-road bike, the Sega. And I said, sure, I'll do that. Honestly, didn't think it was going to show up. There's no contract signed. There's nothing like that. They sent me a bike and said, make me a video so I can give my honest review on this. So, they asked me to unbox it, put it together on camera, ride it, and review it. So that's what we're going to do. I watched a bunch of other videos on people doing this. No one showed the full process of putting it together or riding it off-road and beating the brakes off it like we're about to do here today. Look at that, Ryan. Yes, sir. We're going to get the drone out, hopefully. we got a lot of off-road trails here in Wisconsin. There's one right here in town that we're going to go rip it on, and we're going to see what this thing can do. So... If you guys normally here for trucking, I hope you still enjoy this. Uh, to be honest, trucking alone doesn't keep the channel afloat. She's going down in views consistently. Even though I try really hard, it still goes down. So I'm going to start doing reviews. We're going to start doing side-by-side -side videos. We're going to think much to do with the Mustang besides just driving it. But I'm just going to start posting a little bit of my whole entire life on here. And I hope you guys will still go along and enjoy the content. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dakota, Life Behind the Wheel, or High Strung, they call me. I don't have my shirt on. This is my buddy Talon, he's my neighbor, and a guy that I butt heads with all the time. <laughs> so, let's get this thing unboxed. Go ahead, chop it up. Let's get this garage door open and see what we can do. Covers, come on, you know where everything's at. Don't act like you don't. That's not where they are. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Look at that. So, supposedly, they have sent me this with a, a fender. And it comes with a light. It's got a full screen on it where you can hook it up to your phone. The thing is sick, honestly. That's the only reason why I really agreed to do this because the bike looks awesome. I think it's like 750 watts of power. Uh, it's got the torque sensor in the pedal. So whenever you're pedaling, it sees how much you're putting in and it kind of helps you out in the back end. And it looks, it looks sick. It's got an app for your phone. It's got big tires on it. And I can already tell you right now, what is this? Directions? Directions? We don't need these. I'm just kidding. Give me that. We're going to need them. This thing's a little bit more scientifically inclined than I am, so let's get her pulled out of here. Come with tools. Does it come with tools? Does it come with Look at it. Hang on. Let's show the people. Oh, shit. She let's, comes with a 10 show millimeter. People. So, in the first box we got here, that is a nice set of Allens. Look at this. Brother. So, here's our pedals. Nice set of pedals here. Here's our rear light. Comes with. A full set of Allen wrenches. I mean, that is a nice set. That is a quality set. I mean, oh, look at this. It's got more than just that. It's got Phillips and everything in there. Even a little socket deal. Look at that, folks. Now that, no one else in the video showed this about them. Nope. Not at all. Tell them in maybe. So we got all this. And I think this is the charger right here. Yes, Guys, if you can see what we got going on in here, this thing is huge. Cut the back rack. Yep, the back rack. Oh, it's already got it installed. Holy cow. Yo, that thing is a unit. Oh, golly. Hot diggity dog. Yo, tires are way bigger than I was expecting. Okay, so I'll show you guys this in a little bit, but they have dials here to change your preload and your shocks on the front. So we're going to have to check that out here in a little bit. Oh, that's a front fender right here. Dude, that tire is massive. It's kind of like the... Kinga! Kinga tires! I thought they were just the same ones we got on the Tacoma. Oh! Yeah, another clipper here somewhere. I'm going to start snipping stuff off. Oh, my other snipper's inside. Just let me do it. Get it Easy now. That's tired right there. I'm supposed to be doing this review, so you're getting after it. Always cut towards you, kids. <laughs> Always cut towards you. Oh, there we go. 
There's some hefty old zip ties. Oh, the brakes on these things are not easy. Easy now. There's a lot of wires. Don't go jerking on them. It's got a set of keys. Oh, yeah, boy. She's a land yacht. She is a unit. That's for sure. A lot of people were saying you can even change the gearings. You can even change the gearings on it. Yeah, look at this. Look at the screen there, the display screen. Oh, she's like a touchscreen TV. What can you I think it is touchscreen. Yes. It has to be. Wonder what kind of battery. Oh, is. and it has full-on disc brakes. That's good. You guys check this out. Brembo. You know it's something whenever they come with the full-on disc brakes like so. As you can see here, she's got a meaty tire. In the videos, I was like, eh, that don't look like it's got enough grip, but I think that's going to be good. That thing is beautiful. Has a locker for this. Oh, yeah. Just doing a little lockout? Yep. Kind of like lockout takeout. That is a, I can't believe they sent me this. Me neither. I really don't. You scratch it. You don't mm -hmm. die. Not the candy paint? No, no, that's that flat wall. We got the rear bumper. Oh, okay, we got a... Got to hook this up yet. Oh, that's just two Allen wrenches. We're good. So we got the rear light, got a front light. The only bad thing is they didn't grease this chain before he got it. So um, that's the only downfall of having that. It's all right. But it'll go off. Yeah, we'll get it taken care of, no problem. Oh. Yeah. Did so. someone say we're going to break this today? No, no, no. You said well, let's hope not. I mean, you said torture test. So they didn't you, pay me to do that's this. That's why you called me to come over here to torture test. I didn't call you to torture. I called you to help with that dang old camera. Uh, We're going to put her through her paces, though. All the other videos I watched is people trying to get the range out of it that they claim, which they claim 90 miles. I'll take this thing off. Later. But I watched a few videos on it, and a guy was able to do 80. I think it was 87 miles or something like that. With it on low help, you're doing a lot of the pedaling, you know, not using the throttle, anything like that, which is just like with a car. Whenever they tell you what kind of fuel mileage it gets, they do it with being real no. easy on the pedal. No. To, no. Uh -uh. Yeah, it's got a headlight. With it being real easy on the pedal and everything else. So, just like any other company, they get the, the best range they can. We're going to be using oh, yeah. all gas. No way. <laughs> We're gonna put train horns on this. Train thing. horns. Yep. Hornblasters.com. Who's sponsored? That'd be great. That'd I be, really that'd be great if want horns. someone to send me an electric dirt bus. That'd be cool. And I'm a contact free there, and I'm gonna tell them. Ooh, these things are beefy. Not gonna lie, wait. Go shoot. Feel how heavy these things are. Oh yeah. They're beefy. Well go. The oh. welds on this thing are amazing too. I want. Yeah. The. Well done, them are pretty good, I'd say. But they're all done by robots, so that's why. They're not done by hand. Yeah, but still. I mean, the, it feels amazing. Oh. Okay. You can't even open the bottom box. That's just a charger. Which, uh, actually, uh, throw the extension cord on and get it charged. It might, not, it might be fully charged because from that, uh, lithium batteries, if they're not fully charged, they'll be like, uh, it'll send it into like a purge mode. Does the, the bars go back like this? Yeah, bars go back. Yeah. Why so, is it so low? That is kind of weird. Oh, it's an off-road bike, so they expect you to be standing, probably. Probably. Charging. Not a bad charging. Not a bad charging. Not a bad charging. Your 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 review is great. Oh yeah. I'm loving it. She is ten out of ten to recommend. So it's got the ratcheting stuff. Oh, that's the throttle. Yeah. That's, that's our... uh for your disc back here. Oh there you go. Look at that. Which honestly I don't know why they didn't do an electric one. You know how like some of them have electric. Well now I think what they're they're going for is being in, in a amphibious. No so, an affordable. And an amphibious one. So.
Okay, guys, slight dilemma. Think we're missing some spacers, so we're going to figure this out. All right, guys, so this is what we just figured out. So on here, the cover that was on the wheel, over oh, here, this black cap was in there. I thought it was just to hold this paper on there. Well, whenever you go to put your bike together, if you can see these bearings, then you're missing something. you got to get these black caps from here, and they go on just like so. And that way it covers your bearing and everything else. And on the other side, same thing, that one was stuck to this piece, which was just covered up on the other side. So whenever we pulled these apart, it popped these out. So whenever you put it together, be sure to pay attention and make sure that those are on there. Because that is what spaces it out from the front shocks. And if that's not on there, then as soon as you hit a turn, your wheel's going to slip and it's going to destroy your rotor and your brake. So that's a good thing to pay attention to. I'm glad we caught that. Alright, now you can put the camera back up there. Okay, so please excuse the fan noise. It's hot in here. So you're going to need two people. One person holds the bike up, and then you come in and you got an easy pick it back up where you were. I'm, I'm just guiding this. You slide it in just like that. You take your bar, your axle, and it will hurt you just like so. Bam! See, now that looks and feels right. Put that on. Uh, now, where'd my nut go? Right. So slide that thing out real quick. Slide that nut out. Come on. That bolt out. And then put your nut on here. There's that. Okay, let's get it straight down here. Oh, try to get it right there better. Do that again. Bang. I'm going to do that. There we go. And we're putting the whole bike together with their tools. I was trying to use my tools earlier to put that screen on there. But. Oh, it's a shimber. What? Shimber. Oh. Best, best technology they ever made. So it's, you know what a shimber bait caster is? Same electronics as in here. I don't think you are calling that the right name. Shimber, what do you call these? Uh, I don't know. Shimano. Shimano, yes. <laughs> bait casters, okay? Oh, big bait caster guy. Oh, so yeah. I like the rat's nest. Alright. So, front wheel's a little off. Put it between your legs. There you go. Look like the, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, there we go. The box was a little beat up. And from what other people said, really? it's. They said the seat was really uncomfortable. Free air, I'm going to have to agree with them. The seat is quite, I couldn't spend 90 miles on this seat. So I think definitely an upgrade for free air would be doing a different seat. Maybe a little bit softer compound, maybe a little bit bigger. Can try the suspension now. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, and so it also has adjustable. It's rebound and shot. Oh, whoa. That is a wild difference. I think we're going to have to put some air in the tires. No, 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 no. That's probably pretty cool. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm missing a screw. Oh, no, this is going to kill me. Right here. This is going to kill me. Right here. This is going to kill me. What? Holy cow. Uh, then you do this. No, no, no. Stop it, stop it, stop it. i got to get the app. There you go. Get the light. Put the light on there. I haven't even put the pedals on, bro. Oh. She want to go, though? And that's not even on full, either. That's on full. Okay. I turned it up. I got you. You definitely burnt some rubber, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Scoops. Oh, boy, Scoops. Information, mile, what is this? Six miles on her, max speed 28.8 was already written. Average 22, time 16 minutes. So they put six miles on the rig already. All right. It was definitely no dirt bike. But I think this thing's going to be pretty slick. I think this thing's going to be pretty fun. Can you stop moving it? No. I'm too excited. Exactly. And we're only at 50% power. And I forgot my headband. What do you mean? 
Yeah, here we go. Your headband right there. Here's all our information. Oh, okay. So there's the power levels. So right here, you go down. Up. And that's how much it's helping you. Your information. And then I thought this was touchscreen, but it's not. And then if you get the app on your phone, you can do a whole lot more stuff to it. But so right now, what are you doing? Putting that front fender on? Mm -hmm. So front fender, front light, and then we're going to go for tool. You can literally put the whole bike together with just this one tool. Well, that was embarrassing. Camera's all smudged up too. Someone's fat fingering it. This guy. Oh, I don't got fat fingers. No, okay. It's reverse threads, buddy. Add yeah, the pedal. Come on. You got this. I got faith in you. Yeah, of course oh. reverse threads. There we go. So I'm going to get the app downloaded, and then we're going to go for our first ride. You should probably take this. All right, guys. So I tried registering it to my phone, but I can't right now because I don't have service. So we are going to start with just no anything. Oh, golly. Shouldn't be shifting while it's off. Is it down? Oh, golly. Kickstand's down. Shows you how long it's been since I rode a bike. Oh, God. All right. Just going to get straight here. All right, we're straight. Looks like the chain is a little wonky, but we're good. So first impression, just riding it normal. Feels pretty good. Doesn't feel like a big tire bike. All right. We've got no throttle right now. One complaint is this throttle feels so cheap. You guys could throw a little bit of rubber on there, maybe make it metal. It would be way better. So let's go up to one help. So now as I pedal, it's helping me because it has torque sensors inside of there to see how much I want to go. Hard, oh, no way. Let's go up to full help. Let's go see what's happening over here. the brakes sound a little janky let's go get the impression what these girls think about my new bike I'm gonna drag up on them. Honestly, just on the throttle, it feels great. Lots of power. I am, I like this. And if you're pedaling, so going this fast, you gotta get up there. So when you pedal, it also goes with for you. And it cooks. Oh dude, we're doing 20. crash it right here. What do you what do you think about my new ride? I like it. Awesome. Did you just get it? I just got it. Sweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should do 28 miles an hour. Are you kidding? Yeah, big off-road rig. <laughs> and then like if it feels you trying to pedal, it like goes by itself got a screen three speeds gps and fucking security mode uh -uh. Mm-hmm. so if a guy pulled up to you on this and asked for your number would you say yes <laughs> this is for an ad you're supposed to say yes, yes. <laughs> let's ride out dude this thing rips
I want to go pull up on you. Seems like if you're trying to pedal, she gives you a lot more. <laughs> People's looking at me like I'm crazy. 20, 28. <sighs> I ain't rode a bike in so long. This thing's gonna have me out here riding. Gear shift, amazing. I'm tired. We're going all throttle. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what it'll do just under its own power. 26, 27, 28. Oh, it stops at 28, must be limited. The torque sensor in the pedals is absolutely awesome. It reads how much you're trying to go. This thing is dope. Wait, you're gonna rip. Here, put the GoPro on. Right. Take the bike. Hold it. You still gotta do a little bit of work, but it's nice. Is it? It's fucking awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm Not done. a seller, not a seller? It is a it is a seller. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, let me, oh. let me see where you're looking. All right, we're gonna put you up a touch so they can get a different view. All right, go rip them. Oh yeah, there, bud. Fucking rips. So 
we didn't pedal one time in that whole lap. Got up to 25 miles an hour. And the rack, it says it's rated for 25 kilograms, can hold 180 pounds. So I think this thing is a great success so far. Tomorrow in the morning, when it's nice and cool, we're going to get the GoPro out and go take it off-road and see how she does there. So, see you in the morning. Guys, I've really got to say, I got to give it to this e-bike company, Free Dare. They have made a pretty sick bike here. This thing has the anti-theft system on it. Well, if it's moved or anything like that, it notifies the app on your phone and lets you know what's going on. Complete GPS tracking with 4G communications and Qualcomm chip in it. It has a torque sensor, so as you're pedaling, <laughs> it senses how much you're putting in and it'll help you with the motor to keep going. It's got a 90 mile range on it. If you're in level one and you're pedaling it, it'll take you literally almost 90 miles. There's even reviews and videos on that you can look up. I have definitely figured out it is 28 miles per hour and she gets there pretty quick. And as you can see here, we took it mudding and doing all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, it's got my word on it. 48 volts, 20 amp hours, 960 watt hours. It's got a Bofang brushless motor in it. It can take you up to 30 degree slopes if you're helping it pedal. I mean, she's a unit. And it has a three amp fast charge, charge you up to 80% in four hours. We rode it all the way to my work and back and she's still kicking good. So if you guys are in the market, check out and go to the FD Sega All-Terrain Fat Tire Electric Bike, UL certified. You can pick her up for a crispy $16.99. All right, guys, I think that concludes our review on the Free Dare Sega Off-Road E-Bike. Thing is an absolute unit. We just put another 30 miles on it almost. And we're down to 33% from us ripping it off road and taking it mudding. If you guys want yourself one, go to free. Hold up. Wait a minute. I messed this part up because it's my first time. It's actually freedarebike.com. Also, if you guys want to get $100 off, use the code TBTW100 and you'll get $100 off your e-bike purchase. Okay? Also, there'll be a link in the description below that you can go through through me and get the bike. Helps me out, helps you out. We're all happy. I'm finishing this video up, posting it, and I'm actually going back outside to ride it right now. Jair.com, go to the Sega. It's an off-road e-bike. Come on.